الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد Dear brothers and sisters, we are coming close to one of the most blessed events, Eid Al-Adha, also known as the Festival of Sacrifice. But how can we, in our humility, honor this day as our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, did? The first thing we can do is takbir. As we wake up, let our first act be the proclamation of Allah's greatness, the takbir, which starts from the night of Arafah until the time we proceed to the Eid prayer. The second thing we can do is ghusl, cleanliness, being close to godliness. Perform ghusl before setting out to the prayer ground, purifying your bodies as we seek to purify our souls. The third thing we can do is eat after prayer. Unlike Eid al-Fitr, where we eat before prayer. For Eid al-Adha, we eat after. These are known as the days of Tashriq. The fourth thing we can do is the sacrifice. In some countries, they call it Qurbani. If we are able, let's honor the great sacrifice of Prophet Ibrahim by partaking the Qurbani and sharing the meat with family, neighbors, and the poor and needy. The fifth thing we can do is dressing well and showing happiness as we express the gratitude to Allah for His countless blessings. Let's wear our best clothes, spreading joy and cheer as we meet and greet our fellow Muslims. The seventh thing we can do is saying the takbir out loud. During the walk to the prayer ground and until the Imam arrives, we keep glorifying Allah by saying the takbir out loud uniting our voices in praise. Remember, brothers and sisters, our aim is to follow the footsteps of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and gain closeness to Allah. So let's cherish and honor these sacred moments. May Allah accept our sacrifices and grant us a joyous and blessed Eid al-Adha.